everyone, it's Lindsay. I wanted to make a little video today to kind of go through some of the things that I really like in the holiday Christmas season. And so I thought I'd start by sharing with you um, a new recipe that went up on my blog on, I think, Monday. Um, and so I'll link it down below. You can go have a look. It's for some holiday hot chocolate, um, but it's not made with white sugar or scary things. So I'll share that with you now and then we'll get ready. I started doing some blog posts uh, maybe in August about like products I was finding that I really liked or that really worked well for me because I know for me I like to go and see what other people like and have them recommend things for me because I'm like I bought so many products just like I'll see them on the shelf and I'll be sucked in by the marketing and I'll buy them and they're awful like just <clears throat> Like things you just are like, and eh, we'll pretend I didn't buy that and just hide it in a drawer and then eventually it'll just disappear because I threw it out. So I really like when people like recommend things to me that they really like and so I thought I would share with you some things that I found that I like that work well for me. Um, everyone is different and so things that work well for me might not work well for you, but you'll never know unless you try them so I'll just share them with you and I know that Hopefully you'll like them. So, first of all, the hot chocolate. Okay, I'll just quickly show you how I make it, and I'll put all the ingredients and the specific measurements will go up on my blog, and I'll link a post there below. So in your saucepan, put some, I use some cold soy milk, and it's unsweetened, um, and then I usually turn it on kind of medium heat. And then in a separate dish, I'll just do it beside it to show you, um, I have a tablespoon of cocoa powder and a sprinkle of salt, and then I take a tablespoon of honey, and then just start mixing it together. Now, this would be the moment where you kind of go, this was a horrible decision, this honey will never mix in. Just keep stirring it around. It'll be a little thick. Make sure it's smooth and you've crushed any lumps. I like to add a little vanilla, just kind of eyeball it, don't, don't worry, it won't ruin it. And then take a, wi a wire whisk, scoop in, and then just whisk it until it's thoroughly combined. So when it starts to steam and you've whisked it for a couple minutes, remove it from the heat and just pour it into your cup. Just trying to launch it through the viewfinder. Oh my goodness. There, and it makes about one cup, so one serving, which is perfect. Okay, so we're all set. Have you got your hot cocoa? I've got mine. This kind of feels like show and tell. Yeah, kind of like show and tell, not so much a favorites. <laughs> is that what a favorites video is? It's just kind of like show and tell. I used to be the best at show and tell. Like when you would have that day at school where you would get to bring stuff, I was the kid who like brought their pet cactus or a bucket of tadpoles, not popular, and like wanted to show the class that. And other kids were like bringing their My Little Ponies and their Barbies and I was like, look at this pile of dirt I found, it's awesome. So that's what I kind of feel like when I was making this list. I was like, this feels like grown up show and tell. That's okay. We like to show each other stuff. We like to say things awkwardly. Yeah. So I wanted to break it down into a few different categories. I didn't want to just be like, here's a product that I like. Mm. <laughs> so I'll, these are things that I actually use. I'm not, this isn't like an endorsement thing. No, one, no one's paying me to say this. I actually, I actually like them. Um, and, and they work, and that's my story. So, in the spirit of Christmas, kind of, commercial Christmas, cinematic Hollywood Christmas, yeah, that one, I have decided to start with two favorite Christmas movies. You may agree, you may not agree. First one is Elf. I like Elf. I've already watched Elf this year. Once. Probably will watch it again. But I like Elf. 
it's enjoyable, it's not as muddy, you feel happy at the end, and it's okay. You can watch it with your 12-year-old cousin and not be like, don't look at this part, oh my goodness! So, I like Elf. Also, let me shake it down. There's like decorative snow in the collectible packaging. White Christmas. Bing Crosby, Danny Kay, Rosemary Clooney, Vera Green, Vera Ellen. That's her name, Vera Ellen. I feel badly for her. I feel like I remember the th other three, and then for her, I'm like secretly trying to peek on the cover. Anyway, I love White Christmas. Love, 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 love. I might be alone in this. It's okay. This is the one we might differ about. Still fine. We can still be friends. But I love White Christmas. So, number two. As far as books, we'll go into book favorites next. Yes. Semi Christmas themed, because Christmas comes back in it. Semi not, because I would read it any time. The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. I love this series. I have read this series seven times. This is actually the book that looks the best. The rest are all like maimed a little bit. Anyway, I love this book and the qualities of a good book are you love it and it speaks to you and you are not ashamed to share it. There's nothing smutty, there's nothing bad. It's all really 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 good stuff and I recommend it to you. I recommend it. This is a good book. There is, there are seven books in the series, so this isn't the first book, this is the second book. You can read The Magician's Nephew. It's also good. You'll find out backstory. Also good. So, that's the first book. The second book is a cookbook. I have a lot of cookbooks, so it is saying something if one of them is like a favorite. This is a new book published this year by Angela Lydon, who has a blog, Oh She Glows. I will link down below. And it is the Oh She Glows cookbook. There are amazing recipes in here. Her cheerful chocolate smoothie is so good. And it has avocado in it, and it's sweet, and it has dates, and you love it, and it's thick. Mm. Oh She Glows cookbook. I got it when it was first out. It's a good Christmas gift idea. I have given it to a lot of people. <laughs> and it has really easy recipes, side dishes, main dishes. Um, it is vegan, so some of the things you might not be familiar with, but nothing is too difficult. It's like home cook stuff. You don't have to have a degree in gastronomy to be able to cook this stuff. It is good. Kind of getting into the beauty health theme. Yeah, beauty health theme. I thought I would share a supplement with you, kind of a supplement, kind of a dream, kind of a health thing. Um, you, if you follow me on Facebook, you will have seen pictures of this before. Um, this is liquid chlorophyll. It's from Nature Sunshine. It is um, the green part of the plant is the chlorophyll. And this is kind of a minty flavor. I think there's mint in it. Yeah, spearmint. Um, but it's so good to help your body kind of clean out and stay healthy during the holiday season. It's easy to catch like all those horrible, horrible germs from everyone who has germs. I really like this. I mix about two tablespoons into, two or three tablespoons into like a liter of water. And I try to drink two liters of water a day, but let's be honest, sometimes it doesn't happen. And sometimes you're just like, no, I can't drink any more water. You get to the end of the day and you realize you have like three quarters of a liter left. And you're like, it's not happening today. So, Nature Essential Shine Chlorophyll. I always used to hate that thing where you would get to the end of exams in school. I'm not in school right now. Um, and then you would like, the day you got home, you'd be like, oh no. Oh. And you'd be like, I have the post-exam plague. And you'd be like sick for three days. This will help avoid that. So don't, if you have exams, do well. I want you to do well. This was a gift and I bought another one since then. This is, this is Badger Balm. <laughs> and you never think of badgers as being like friendly. You're always like, oh, badger. Or, yeah. Anyway, it has this cute, oh, this cute little picture of a badger on it with like a, a wand and it's like, I don't know. Here, I'll show you. Can you see that? It is like the cutest little thing. 
It's like cocoa butter and olive oil and orange essence. They have a bunch of different um, kinds. So this isn't the only kind. There's like a mint one and I don't know. There's like six kinds. I've only tried this one because it's the one I was given and I really liked it. And why would you mess with the success? So the next I use as like a makeup remover and moisturizer at night. I put it on my eyes. It is Live Clean Baby Non-Petroleum Jelly. So it's not a petroleum jelly. It's, um, what's in this? Castor seed oil and lavender and chamomile. Anyway, because petroleum isn't so good to put on your skin because your skin absorbs everything you put on it. Anyway, this is really good. It doesn't clog your pores, it doesn't make you break out, and it's super gentle, and it takes your makeup off. Like, you put a little on your eye, and you just wipe the makeup off with a Kleenex, it comes right off. So I recommend this. You can also put it on your feet. It's also eco-friendly. Um, so I recommend this if you're looking for something to replace your petroleum jelly. I got this at the Superstore. You could probably get it anywhere Live, live Clean products are sold. Maybe shoppers, maybe... I got it at the grocery store. Anyway, recommend. Next one is an Aveeno product. Uh, this is their Eczema Care Moisturizing Cream with Colloidal Oatmeal. Um, I used to really struggle with eczema, um, but I use this as like my face moisturizer, my body moisturizer. Sometimes I put it half and half. If you mix this half and half and put it on your feet and then put socks on before you go to bed, your feet are so smooth and soft. This is really, really good. And it's not expensive. I think this was 10 bucks, and this might have been five. Like five dollars. So I really like this. It's not greasy. It dries, and you don't feel like you're kind of like a walking grease ball when you put it on. It's nice. You can put makeup over it. I have. Two things left. Oh, three things left. Three things left. Um, this is my beauty item. This is the Stila um, Eyes Are the Window Shadow Palette Body. Wow, that's a long name. Anyway, I guess the series is Eyes Are the Window Shadow Palette. And this is the body one. There was like three, two or three other ones. And it's such a nice eyeshadow. So you can see it's like really bright colors. It's highly pigmented. It comes off easy. It's not toxic. It's... Um, really nice stuff. Some of them are sparkly, some of them are kind of a matte finish, but it goes on really nice. If you put some primer, some eyeshadow primer on, it lasts all day, and you don't have to touch up. It's really, really, really nice. I have another Stila palette, and I've almost like gone through it. It's a couple years old, but I really like Stila stuff. Um, I have really sensitive skin, and my skin doesn't break out at all. It's really gentle, but it works. It's a good cosmetic product. So. Stila. And it's like a rose gold package, so you feel like kind of like, ooh, fancy. So I used, I got this with the birthday money. <laughs> I really like this. That's my kind of like special item. Okay, last thing. This, this bag is like, this is a completely true bag. Do not eat. This is um, like my new favorite soap. This is from the Rocky Mountain Soap Company. I've done a blog about them. Actually, this bag might have been in it. Anyway, they make the most glorious, organic, natural, no scary stuff soap that I can use. Because I can't use stuff full of like almond and shea and stuff like that. That makes me sad. Um, but I can't show you the one I use to wash my face because the, I'm using it and it's kind of like all weird and shriveled and the wrapper's off of it. Anyway, there's a colloidal oatmeal face washing bar. It kind of looks like this, but not mint or tea tree. And I just like wash my face with it and my face is, like my skin is so nice now. Um, this is their minty tea tree oil one and it's for oily combination skin. I haven't tried it yet, but it smells so good. That's why it says don't eat on the bag because some of them are like orange scented or berries or other fruits and you're just like, I secretly just want to be like, and try them, but resist. So, Rocky Mountain Soap, so good. I've only tried their soap so far. I really like, I really wanna try maybe their body wash, maybe some shampoo. 
So those are the things I've really been loving. I also wanted to share, last thing, I promise, a YouTube channel that I recently discovered that's so cool. Um, it's called How to Cook That by Ann Reardon, and she lives in Australia, and I'll link, I'll link her below. Um, but like, she makes the neatest stuff. It is all desserts, so it's like in that 20% of stuff you should, <laughs> like if you're doing an 80-20 approach, 80% good stuff, 20% bad stuff, it's in the 20% where you're like, I will have this once a year, but I will enjoy every minute. She is so talented. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I've recently discovered her, so I thought I would start sharing video, like people's videos that I've discovered, because sometimes you get kind of in a rut of like who you watch and what you do, and anyway. I really like her, so go check her out. If you do, let her know that I sent you. If you like this video, click thumbs up, and remember to subscribe, and in the comments below, leave me a comment about what kind of videos you'd like to see, um, what questions you have. If you want to do a Q&A, let me know. You can also come and follow me on Twitter. It's at LTurnbull2012, and you can find that in my bio as well. So come follow me there. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook, um, which are also linked on my channel. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.